Hello oh guys, how are you guys doing today? So yeah, weather in Moose Jaw was bad like 20 hours ago, 21 hours or 22 hours ago. So yeah, there was currently a severe thunderstorm watch and warning issued watch issued for Moose Jaw. So I'm going to be reading the news for you. But so yeah, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that yesterday around 21 hours ago, the cloud in Regina was also great. So it could have went, it was moving out of Moose Jaw region. It could have come to Regina too, but it, but it didn't. I wish it it would come to Regina so I could have made the video so as you can see the lightning strike the lightning strike so yeah the severe thunderstorm watches and warnings are popping up throughout Saskatchewan this evening as a band of storms slowly tracks through the region environment and climate change Canada says conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms that may be capable of producing strong wind gusts large hail and heavy rain and possibly tornadoes as of 8 14 p.m a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for the following so this is like so much um place so i'm just not gonna be reading it so yeah and it's the end of the news so yeah i'm gonna go to weather and moose jaw as you can see currently 28 degrees celsius with feels like 28 so yeah um today may 23 it is 50 percent isolated thunderstorm so yeah 50 percent chance of precipitation tonight so yeah let's go to precipitation so yeah so oh my goodness as you can see as you can see today is 50 percent isolated thunderstorm may 24 70 percent scattered thunderstorms may 25 60 percent scattered thunderstorms and may 26 it is 50 percent scattered showers may 27 it is 60 percent scattered thunderstorms and more that we do not know and yeah we're gonna go to the moose sighting yeah wait a minute just i'm not positive so i'm sorry for the past so yeah so yeah and one thing i forgot to mention to you guys another thing is that three hours ago cdv news regina posted this f news saying pair of moose spotted taking a tour of regina's norman view neighborhood <laughs> that made me laugh so hard when i heard this news man like is it bc it, are we living in bc or something like that residents in regina regina's northwest right neighborhoods very enough right in for our surprise for over morning coffee when several moose appeared to be taking a scroll stroll through the streets the two cows were spotted on Pickard street at around 7 30 tuesday morning and today is tuesday may 23 so yeah. oh sorry diana wilson said she wasn't expecting to see the pair in plain view outside her front window i looked at and couldn't believe seeing these two moose so i quickly grabbed my phone and took a few pictures she told cdb news related Stories it is. It was totally exhausted. Video shows moose seeking refuge in Saskatoon backyard. Child care staff help kids exit through the broken window. After moose comes crashing into Saskatoon school. The heck what is that? What is happening in Saskatchewan today, guys? Muster moose apparently resistant to leave Sask village. It was amazing actually that they stood there for a good minute or so before they moved along other sightings continued throughout the morning moose and regina so there are two pictures of moose for anyone who missed the action we had a new neighbor moving just for the morning <laughs> yo by chance david shannon captured a video of one of the ferry travelers on his newly installed camera shannon had installed it the night before to catch whoever or whatever was eating his rose bushes he told CTV News be he believes he's fine. We caught the culprit. <laughs> I hooked up. I hooked them up last night after we got back from a long weekend of camping. And the first thing in the morning today, besides the traffic, was the moose going across the front lawn. He chuckled. So yeah, maybe how did the moose came to Regina, guys? So maybe I know the reason because of the hot sun, like yesterday. So yeah, like yesterday it was a hot sun. So. Yesterday, Environment Canada placed special air quality statements. So because of that means the forest turned to forest fire and then the forest fire left smoke. Left smoke. So yeah, this is why the moose just sprinted to Regina's Northwest neighborhood. And now it came to Pickard Street. So yeah, I thought that there were two notices says on my phone and i and i looked at it and i thought what is that going by so quickly i showed my wife and said i think we found our window shannon said he never thought he'd see a moose travel as far as it did into regina it's the first time i wouldn't expect it this far in i could see i could see maybe by the rcmp by the park but it's but not this far 
It's on every day you get one ride into the city. The city of Regina can let, let confirm it received one call regarding a moose sighting. So how many moose have surrounded Regina? How many moose are there in Regina? According to the Ministry of Corrections, Police and Safety as well as Regina Police Conversation Officers were actively tracking three moose in the in three neighborhoods in North Regina Tuesday morning. Three moose in three neighborhoods. Yo, so guys, be aware of the moose. If you see it, just call 911 because you are absolutely isolated. Just call 911, call RCMP. Do not approach them because they are absolutely dangerous. So yeah. As of 2 p.m., officers immobilized two of the animals and relocated them to a safe location outside of Regina. Officers were reportedly still working to relocate the third moose. The ministry went on to say that officers would also be responding to reports of a moose in Pilot Butte 2. Pilot Butte 2. Yo, there's a moose in Pilot Butte 2. Yo. Yo, what to do if you spot a moose? Moose, deer, and other wild animals move around looking for suitable habitat, food, or maize, and in doing so may occasionally approach urban areas, the state statement from the ministry read. Often animals will move along on their own depending on the location and circumstances. Officer may, officers may first try to encourage an animal to move out of town or may try to immobilize and relocate the animal. The ministry reminded the residents that moose are large and unpredictable, so keeping your distance is key. If a moose wanders into town or city limits, remember, residents should contact their local conversation officer or call the turn in poachers and polluters. TIPB line at 1-800-667-7561 or 911. More information about wildfire safety can be found on the ministry's website. Two moose were spotted on Picard Street at around 7 a.m. on Tuesday, May 23. Yo, that's kind of funny.